Hey kitties and welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos a mi canal. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to the kitty gang. I am Ashley Alyssa and in today's video, we're just gonna jump right into it. We are going to be doing a ACV scalp cleanse or a scalp rinse. And the product that we're going to be using is ACV. And it's this little guy right here. Uh, by Braggs, and this is apple cider vinegar, with the mothers. And with the mothers means basically all that little film that's down there. It's got all the good stuff, all the, the good, you know, probiotics kind of a thing. And the purposes for ACV is not just for skincare. Yes, you can use it as an astringent, you know, as a, a toner, basically. It really helps, you know, with oil production. It helps with bacteria. So if you're suffering from acne-prone skin, ACV is definitely an amazing, you know, product to apply on the skin. If you can deal with the smell, I'm actually okay with it. Um, drinking this is great. It's great for a healthy gut and digestion. A lot of people even drink this for weight loss. I basically drink this for digestive purposes and just basically a nice healthy gut because everybody needs that. So, <laughs> but in today's video, we're actually going to be applying it in our hair or my hair. But anyways, I hope you guys are doing this with me. So it's very simple to do a scalp rinse. And some of you are probably wondering like, why do you wanna put apple cider vinegar in your hair? Ah, uh, hello, I'm about to tell you, okay? <laughs> One of the reasons is if you have dry, itchy scalp, if you have product buildup, if you're dealing with dandruff, if you're dealing with frizziness, dull hair, no shine or anything, brittleness to the hair, you really wanna use apple cider vinegar. It's going to bring back your curls, your hair. This product is amazing, especially for my curly girls and my curly boys, because as you know, we use a lot of products when it comes down to our curls, just trying to maintain them, and you get product buildup, but everybody deals with product buildup. And there's actually a lot of people that you know tend to deal with dandruff and dry, itchy scalp. And for me, I kind of deal with like a little bit of dry, itchy scalp. It gets a little dry up here. So we need to take care of that. Some of you may even be asking, well, why is it that I need to, you know, rinse out my scalp? Maybe I don't have dry, itchy scalp or whatnot. You probably have some product buildup. Everyone tends to get product buildup, especially if you are using a lot of products on a regular basis. And I know that a lot of people tend to use shampoos and conditioners that are, you know, anti-dandruff or, you know, prevents dandruff or gets rid of dandruff. Honestly, no, do not. Because most of those shampoos and conditioners are filled with sulfates, parabens, silicones that are definitely not good for our hair. And especially products that have sulfates, they actually strip our hair from our oils and silicones tend to cause a little bit of product buildup in our hair. So you will only need three things. One thing is an empty water bottle. You're going to need apple cider vinegar and you're gonna need some water. And I decided to do distilled water. You don't need that big ass jug that I just pulled up. You only need a little bit of water. But I decided to pick up a jug of distilled water due to the fact that I feel like it's going to be a lot better on your hair. It's more pure than putting the water that you would definitely wash your hair with in the shower because a lot of that stuff has so many chemicals and we don't realize that it really dries out our hair. So if you guys wanna see how I do a scalp rinse, just keep on watching. All right, so we have our mixture here, and I know that this is a lot, and you guys are probably like, gosh, Ashley, like, <laughs> that's a lot of apple cider vinegar and distilled water, but I have really long hair, and my hair is on the drier side, and it hasn't been washed, and I haven't done a scalp rinse in a really long time, so yeah, I'm probably gonna go through this whole bottle because my hair is that long and even if I don't, I can still save this for when I do another scalp rinse in like another week or two, all right? So. Oh, 
<laughs> what is this? What is this? This is like the rat's nest that is literally hiding under that beautiful scarf. All right, so we're gonna take this down. Oh my gosh, that feels amazing. And look at this. Look at this hair. <laughs> Woo, this is a mess. It is a straight mess. So yeah, this is not cute. And I'm going to start by and I am going to start by, why can I talk today? My gosh. All right. I am going to start by parting my hair into sections. So I'm going to start off with the bottom. All right. So when you first start to apply it, you want to start at the roots and really massage it in and then work it all the way down. So here we go. Mmm, moisture. Feels so good. And my hair is so knotted. So now I'm gonna grab a shower cap and I'm just gonna place it in here because you want some heat to be created. You want some moisture, you want some heat. So just covering this up is going to cause the product to penetrate deeper into the scalp. All right, kitties. So I'm gonna leave this on for about 30 minutes to an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and have some dinner because your girl is hangry right now. And then I'm going to wash it out and I am going to do a deep conditioning mask and I'm gonna be using the Cantu Shea Butter Intensive Repair Deep Treatment Mask. And this is my first time trying this mask, but Cantu does not have sulfates, silicones, parabens, or mineral oil. And it's actually an intense conditioning treatment that restores, strengthens dry, damaged hair. It boosts moisture retention for increased hair elasticity and reduce breakage made with pure shea butter and added manageability and shine so i'm going to then leave my deep conditioning treatment on for probably 10 minutes while i'm in the shower and then i will show you guys how my hair looks after then tomorrow i'm going to show you how my hair looks after the treatment and after it's been completely styled so stay tuned all right guys so i have rinsed out the acv rinse and it literally left my hair super shiny uh easy to like literally run my fingers right through it so i really do like it my scalp feels so clean so if you guys haven't done an acv scalp rinse you need to try it it is amazing as for the mask i don't know how i feel about it because i feel like it was a little heavy for my hair um, it did leave it a little moisturized, but I feel like I've tried different masks that have definitely left my hair silkier and softer, but you know, it did the job, not bad at all. Um, 
So let me know if you guys have tried that mask, but I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair and then I will let you guys know how the results are at the end and then I'll probably show you a video um, a quick video of how like my hair looks tomorrow. All right, so I have styled my hair. My hair just looks so shiny. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it air dry because I really wanna see how the curl pattern turned out as well as if there's any frizz that's going to like develop as it dries. So I'm not gonna touch it, I'm just gonna let it be and then I'll probably diffuse it when it's like 80 to 90% dry. Hey kitty, so um, I am back. This is the next day after doing the ACV treatment in my hair. It made my curls very defined, which is really nice. Um, I have a little bit of frizz, but it's because I didn't put too much product in today. Um, I kind of just wanted to see how it would last throughout the day. And there's a little bit of frizz too because it was raining today, but I'm actually impressed because typically when it's raining, my hair looks like a hot mess. These are the end results of doing the ACV rinse it is amazing it leaves such a nice shine to your hair products just seep deeper into the hair too i feel like you really get the most benefits and it just feels so nice and soft and bouncy and i'm loving it so yeah looks really good i'm gonna flip it over just so you guys could see like this side right here look at those curls like they're nice and chunky curls super defined um I do have to separate them a little bit, which I probably will do that tomorrow. And I just wanted to see like how my hair was gonna do like throughout the day because as I was, you know, just running a little bit of like water and lavender oil through my hair just to like reset it, um, I noticed that it was raining. So I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna go too crazy. I did apply a little bit of mousse and the mousse that I applied is from The Main Choice. Um, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a hold since it was raining and my hair did really well. Typically, like I said, if it's raining, my hair is like a frizz ball and it literally just stayed intact and it looks so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It's truly, truly appreciated. If you guys want more hair care videos, let me know what videos you would like to see, or if you just wanna see more of them in general. I have a few more ideas that I definitely wanna share with you and just want to continue to share my healthy, natural hair journey with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Lo quiero mucho. I love you all, and I will see my kitties very, very soon. Bye.